Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spiders. If you suffer arachnophobia, this video is not for you. In fact, the more I look here, the more I can see is web coming through here. Uh, whatever's in here has been very active and likes laying down web. Oh yeah, look at that there. That's a beautiful golden orb spider. It's actually captured a bee that it's feeding on. And uh, we're heading into winter time and that's what you normally see around our place this time of year. Golden orb spiders have a really intricate, beautiful web, nicely formed. There's a nice golden hue to the web as well. And look at that spider there, just really reveling in that meal there. Yummy, yummy bee time. Well, right now I'm actually very happy that I'm not a bee uh, trapped by that golden orb. Imagine what it'd be like being sucked to zero by a spider. One thing about these spiders is you can easily tell it's a golden orb uh, without even seeing the spider because they've got a very, very distinctive style of web. They look scary with the sun behind them, don't they? Really, really scary. This golden orb spider, I'm calling it, well, a smallish one. The one that I found on the bush track was like the size of a small bird. And when I say big, it was like that big. It was massive uh, versus the one which is in the web right there. I'll throw to some footage of that massive golden orb spider and this is related to the very end of the redback spider tank. And that's why I found this giant spider down a bush track. Okay, uh, that is one of the biggest ones that I've ever seen. The web on this thing is ginormous and look at all of the food and things that that spider's caught. That thing is freaking scary. I've never seen uh, a golden orb spider that big that has to be a mutant from another planet well there's a golden orb spider off in the distance i'm now inside mummy's car i'm going to get to the meat of the video of this one after looking at that beautiful gold orb if i zoom back hmm we've got a spider in mummy's car this is a brand new car it's a kia kia don't ask me why i purchased a kia but what i've noticed is up on the dashboard area i'm seeing some web and i don't like the look of what i see now, this web can be very tricky to see. What I notice is it works when you've got the sun coming in on it, on it and you can see it glistening there, just under my finger there is web. It goes right across here, it goes right across the top of the dashboard. In fact, the more I look here, the more I can see is web coming through here. Uh, whatever's in here has been very active and likes laying down web. And it's certainly a case of the more I look, the more I see. Right under my finger there, there's some spider web. I'll just try and move it there. Yeah, it's gone. Just running along there, did you see that it's on my finger there, more web? I started noticing web in this car about a week ago, it's a brand new car. Um, we've had Redback Spider, major problems with those. Underneath our other cars, my first thought was this could be a Redback Spider, a juvenile one. Uh, the meandering web all through the car, that says to me Redback Spider, but what I'm looking for is the drop down lines I use to catch prey, and they do that even at their very young age. Um, I need to find this spider and I need to think of a way, well if I can't find a spider then I've got to work out a method of, of spraying the car without destroying the car because uh, the insecticides can spray very wet and I can't find the fogging uh, insecticides that people talk about. I live in Australia, we often don't get, don't get the cool stuff here. Um, but we're going to try and find the spider and see if there's any more web in the car. Well, I'm just going to traverse down, uh, down oh sorry for the sun glare there. I was looking in areas like there, uh, looking for web, and the good news is, or so far, is I can't see drop down lines like I would see for a redback spider. I looked really carefully underneath places like that and uh, looking for web down low, and luckily I can't find any. Now, this is one of the rear doors of this car, and you can see there's a bit of web glistening in the middle of the screen there. I'll just move the camera there to show it to you, and I just noticed that that web tends to run right along here. And I can see a clump of web, and I'll just have to move the camera so you can see it in the corner there. I'll just put my finger in there so you can see it. See that there? Hmm. What's that saying to me? I don't know. To me, uh, oh, is it red back or isn't it? That's the big question. When I think about spiders and where they like to hide out in cars, I often think about the door jam areas. That's that area there. So there's the body of the car, there's the door and the hinge of the car, and that to me is like your perfect spider home, but that's sort of outside the car because the seal of the car, which protects the inside, is there, and often spiders can't get past that seal. That there is in the boot area of this car. That's like a rear air vent, if that makes any sense, and it looks nice and clean if you ask me. 
This area here is the back catch hinges in a sense and where the electricals would come down to the back door. It looks nice and clean and that's another little lurky spot that spiders love to get into but I can't see any spider web activity at all there. So I'm giving the back of the car the all clear. So we saw uh, plenty of web up on the dash area there. Um, well the other place to look is up on the roof liner. Uh, I'll be honest here, I can't see any web there and if there was a spider there it's going to really uh, stand out because it's all white. Well lo and behold, uh, from all my pushing and prodding and looking around, I've just spotted the spider, it's on the move. Uh, there it is there. I hope you can see it there. What sort of spider is that? Hey, that's the spider. It's actually quite a large one. Yes, there is the spider there. Very hard to see against black, isn't it? I've got some tweezers on me and I'm going to try and capture this thing. Okay, I've got the tweezers here. I have to be very quick, I'm trying to hold the camera as well. Oh, of course it's not easy is it, it's going to try and hide on me. Okay. Oh. Actually, I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, it's got to go. Okay, I've got it, I've got the thing, I've got it. Well that was stupid thinking the tweezers were going to hold it, the thing has just dropped to the ground here. I've got my spider spray there, that's just my cheap uh, multi coals one. And uh, I might just give that a random spray through here. See if I can nail this spider. Maybe it was a baby huntsman or something. I don't know. Whatever it was, I don't like it. Oh, I see it there, down the ground there. Okay, there it is. There. I just want to have a bit of a closer look at this spider. That's all. That's why Randy reason want to see it. There it is. There. It's in the tweezers. It's going to die because it just got sprayed. I, I think it may be a baby huntsman. I'll be honest here. Uh, was it the sort of web that huntsmen do? Hmm, maybe. Um, I'll just let it uh, keel over a bit and I'll be able to have a closer look. Well, the tweezers, I've just lost the leg, unfortunately, but it's going to die because it's been sprayed. I personally think uh, that is a, a baby huntsman. It's strange because we haven't had many of those around. We've had lots of redbacks uh, in the car, inside the car. Okay, and these spiders grow to be like dinner plate size. I think we can do a good night sister shot, can't we? Mind you, it is already good night sister by the spray. Let's get the tweezers in the right position for the good night sister. Good night, little sister. Yeah, they don't like tweezers, do they? Well, there's one thing I'm certain of. Uh, that spider's not coming back, and thank goodness I've got it out of the car. That is the spray that I've used. I've used that in a couple of Redback videos now. I don't mind this spray nice and cheap and it seems to do the job. It's certainly nailed Mrs. Huntsman. I hope it's a Huntsman. Yeah, quite an active spider. Uh, seeing that, I think it's an Australian spider. It hasn't come in from overseas. This is the other back door and it's web all along there. I hope you can see that. Very hard to see that web. Very fine web from that spider. And it's escape plan had it making a web uh, traversing across there. The escape didn't work. What I will do is I'll just come along and get rid of all the web that was up on the dashboard just to make sure that that web was related to that spider. Put it this way, if I see web again, well, I know I'm up against another spider. Wow, in fact, there's a lot more web up here uh, than I actually expected to see. Hmm. I'm actually very happy that I've found the spider because let's say if I didn't find the spider, it would have been this mysterious, well, there's a spider in the car, but we haven't found the body. I think I've got the culprit, okay? I do believe it was a huntsman spider. Huntsman spiders in cars uh, can be very dangerous, and I'll explain why. Okay, well, those spiders can grow to be very large. It doesn't take long to get up to that size. The size of dinner plates, let's just say that sounds great, doesn't it? And they love to be in reclusive areas. I love the warmth of those spiders. And so often in Australia, you'll be driving along, and this is what happens. And let me just swing the camera down here. You've got the sun coming in your eyes. What's the first thing you do? You do that. If you're really unlucky, there's going to be... A huntsman spider there and if you're really really unlucky it's going to jump into your lap or onto your face what's going to happen then uh, you're going to lose control of the car you could go into a head-on scenario straight in, in the front of a semi-trailer or another vehicle you may swerve the other way and go off a bridge or go into a brick wall uh, you may end up dying from spider fright that's how those spiders kill and so many people online say oh but Leo the huntsman spiders are harmless well they're not harmless because they kill via spider fright now Often these car accidents are these mysterious things where people, will, uh, other witnesses will say, well, we just saw the car, it just went crazy, okay? But no one is there, unless they're inside the car, or unless the driver survives the accident, they're not there to say, 
I just had a spider jump into my lap when I pulled the sun visor down. Now, the funny thing is, even today, even though I think, well, modern cars are fairly safe, you don't get huntsmen in them, mind you, I've just shown you a little baby one in here. Before I pull the sun visor down, quite often I'll just have a bit of a, I'll just have a bit of a peek before I pull it all the way down, so I'm not going to get a spider fright. But that's more of a reaction from me when I was younger, when I had cars that didn't have the, the modern filtering systems that they've got these days. Let's finish this video off and take a look at the Golden Orb Spider and see what it's done to that delicious and delectable bee. Well, there's the beautiful Golden Orb doing some web maintenance as they do after they've had a capture of something. I can't see the bee around. Let's try and find where the bee is. Okay, there's the bee. It's hung out uh, as a bit of an afternoon treat by the looks of it. Probably come back, be a nice, sweet little snack. Well, happy that looks awesome. It looks nice when the sun's directly behind the spiders. It makes them look like super spiders. Did we learn anything in this video? Well, I just hope that my wife is happy that I've been able to pull that spider out of the car and hopefully we identified exactly what it was. Uh, did I learn anything in this video? Well, maybe I learned that the Golden Orb spiders are absolutely stunningly beautiful.